The sun now is fully out, and the crowd now is taking their seats and getting ready for this game one of an ALDS. These Rangers two years removed from losing 102 games. The Orioles two years removed from losing 110 games. Both in the postseason for the first time in seven years. Folks, the moment has arrived. We are ready for it. Kyle Bradish, a 2.83 ERA. Yeah, he's been unbelievable in the second half. Look for the emotion, adrenaline. If it doesn't impact his fastball, he's going to be fine. Also, look, early action. First two hitters love to swing, set the tone. He's got an unbelievable slider and an unbelievable curveball. But he is in for the first two hitters. It could be three pitches, and we're already facing the third hitter. So see what happens, how he handles this incredible electricity. Simeon, Seeger, and Grossman for the Rangers in the first inning. The next pitch, foul tip, strike three. Marcus Simeon goes down on a breaking ball. A three-pitch strikeout for Kyle Bradish as the slider disposes of Simeon to open up today's game. And he started to use that sinker more and more to righties as the year went on through two of those. Then the slider. That is the Dazzler. That is one of baseball's best pitches, period. This guy swings at it more than anybody in baseball. And does here, lashing it to left center field. Hayes is back to get it. Two up and two down in his first inning for Kyle Bradley. And with two outs here is Robbie Grossman. Payoff pitch again. Grossman, it's a hard grounder over first. It is fair. It's past the diving Mount Castle down the line. Karen's off the sidewall, and Robbie cruises into second with a double. Well, he did what he does best. He saw a lot of pitches, worked the count full, fouled one off, and then ripped one past Mount Cutzel down the line. It brings up Adolis Garcia with a rudder at second and two outs. Swing and a miss. He struck him out on a sinker diving down and in. Kyle Bradish bookends his first postseason innings with two strikeouts. So you knew it was going to be Montgomery in game two and Evaldi in game three. Question was who was going to get game one? It'll be Andrew Heaney. Yeah, a little bit different than his counterpart on the mound. He's going to sling it from a different angle. He's going to rely on high fastballs, inside fastballs, changeups, and sliders. Here we go. Action. Austin Hayes swats the first one that he sees. Demarcus Simeon, one pitch, one out. A stretch like delivery from Heaney, and there's a swing, and there's a one hopper out to deep short. Seeger's got it. His throw is a little wide, but staying on the bag. Santander hit on the ground off the left side of the mound and will head to center field. Base hit for Santander. Now the Orioles have their first hit. Like Texas, it comes with two outs. On the ninth pitch, Mountcastle pulls it to third. Josh Young's got it. Texas very steady defensively this year. No score, top of the second, one and two. Radish, leg kick and pitch. And a swing and a miss, strike three. Went up the ladder, and Heim is a strikeout victim. The one-two comes home. He got him, stuck with a fastball. And he's got his fourth K already. Everyone standing at Camden Yards, 0-2, two outs. Bradish fires. And he put him away. And Kyle Bradish, after the leadoff walk, punches out three in a row. Ready for inning number four, a scoreless game in Baltimore. 2-2 two -two to go. Oh. Inside corner to get him. And a sixth strikeout for Kyle Bradish. And here's Adolis Garcia, who struck out his first time up. Pitch is lined over third. That's a fair ball. Whistling pass to Rios and down the line. Into the corner goes Hayes. It bounds away from him momentarily. It's a one-out two-bagger for Adolis Garcia in a scoreless game. Here it is Evan Carter. Swings on the first pitch, lines it down the right field line, and that is in there for a hit. One hop to the wall. Adolis got a late start, but he's heading home. The throw goes to second. He is safe. The legend of the kid continues. Evan Carter, who just turned 21 a little more than a month ago, and he's playing the game at a different level right now. There's one out. Here's Jonah Heim. Heim swings and lines one toward left. It's through a base hit pass to diving Henderson. Carter around third, and he will score. And the Rangers lead it two to nothing. Another amazing play by Evan Carter. That line drive was hit right at him, and he somehow got his body under that line drive so that it could make its way into the outfield. The Rangers have five hits in the inning, and now have a Heim at third, low at second, and Tavares at first. Marcus with a chance to break this open. A kick and a one-two, and a swing and a miss, strike three. Needed it, got it. The Orioles have two base runners today. They're Anthony Santander and Anthony Santander. Oh, and this is the guy for me, Mount Castle. This is the guy I think that can make some noise. Bangs a base hit down the line. That'll scoop by Carter all the way to the wall. Santander busting around third. He heads for the plate. He'll score. And the Orioles have broken through. There's your noise from Ryan Mount 
Castle. He rocks a changeup into the left field corner and sends this stadium into overdrive for the first time in the game. Yeah. Texas 2, Baltimore 1 in game 1 of the American League Division Series. 0-2 to Grossman. He's in there for strike three. Fastball to the top of the zone and Bradish has his eight. 3-2 offering. Ranking ball, swing and a miss for strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the fifth. That is going to do it for Bradish. Think maybe a little earlier than we were anticipating. The bullpen goes to work. This is where this Rangers lineup really starts to feel deep, long, when you have Young hitting the knee. Here's a ball hit deep. The center field by Young going back is Mullins. He's at the wall. He looks up. It's gone. Josh Young. Parks one just over the wall, just to the right of straightaway center. His first career postseason home run has given Texas a 3-1 lead. Santander has been on board twice with a single and a walk. Swing a high drive, right center field. That ball is absolutely crushed. Ten rows up into the bleachers. Anthony Santander with a solo home run. And this is a one-run ball game again. Come on now, Tony Taters. Part of the Rangers order coming up, leading by a run in the seventh. Swing and a miss, strike three. Ripped it past him at 98 up and in. And the Orioles' 11th strikeout of the game. Heim lifts a fly ball to the left field corner. Hayes on the move. Austin Hayes with a diving, tumbling catch. Austin Hayes got a little bit later of a break because it was a mighty swing by Heim but ended up making another highlight reel catch in a season that's been chock full of them. Well, man here that doesn't need much introduction. It's a roll as Chapman out of the Rangers bullpen. Real. High away for ball four. Four pitch walk, nothing close. In the dirt, kicks away. There goes Hayes, and the tie run is in scoring position. Jonah Heim had no chance. That was buried right in the dirt, and then took a long carom up the third base line. The last eight times the Orioles have faced Chapman, they've scored nine runs. They've scored five of those eight outings. They are not as intimidated as they used to be in the Rawls Chapman. He's a bird with the game on the line. Back to back walks from Chapman. Now they haven't gotten this man out. Rangers hoping to turn two. They were swinging the ground ball wide to third, picked by Young to second for one, on to first, double play. 5 4 3. What a great turn by Marcus Simeon as the throw by Josh Young was high. Two balls and two strikes now, one run game. Chance of let's go O's all across the ballpark. Mountcastle swings and misses at the high fastball. Chapman stares Mountcastle right back to the dugout as he powers 100 by Mountie. And despite a promising start, the Orioles don't score in the bottom half of the eighth inning. And we're going to the ninth. Orioles down a run to the bottom of the ninth inning. Their rookie Gunnar Henderson is going to lead it off. 1-0, and that's a line drive in the right. It's down for a base hit. Tying run at first, winning run at the plate. There goes Henderson. Throw from Heim. He got him. Jonah Heim throws out Gunnar Henderson. What a throw. And it was not particularly close. I think Henderson may have hesitated a bit on his way to second, and that may have cost him. Payoff pitch to Hicks. He struck him out swinging. And just like that, Baltimore's down to its last out. Adam Frazier, last hope for the Orioles. And a cue shot hit the third. Young's got it. He sets, he throws, he got him. And game one belongs to the Rangers. They have beaten the Orioles by the score of three to two.